Hi everybody, it's Lady Ravenswood. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. I went nuts there yesterday and still didn't spend 40 bucks. <laughs> okay, I got pink and teal placemats. They're round and they're uh, wicker like. Um, I got an extra large storage bag. There, I'll just do that. There you go. Um, I got four 5x7, uh, picture frames, uh, for a DIY from, uh, Do It On A Dime's, uh, video. I got four clothes hangers with, uh, I don't know what it is on there, but it keeps the clothes from falling off. Let's see. Non-slip swivel head. Okay. Well, we'll see how that works. I'll let you know. Um... These are little baskets. I got, there's three of them that are pink and three of them that are blue. Um, yeah. Not sure what I'm going to do with those yet. But, I got these. I think I'm going to use these for our cookout. We could put ice in there and some Put some soda or beer. Put soda in one and beer in the other. <laughs> and I got this bucket. Maybe I'll use this for the drinks. Not really sure yet what I want to do with that. Uh, I got some other things. Okay, hang on a second. Okay, um, I got this cute little thing, I guess you could call it, uh, it's a jar and it has a lid, the lid got stuck on, it's over here, but what I'm going to do with it is put some, uh, aquarium gravel in the bottom and put me some succulents in it. I got five little succulents. They were a dollar a piece there at the Dollar Tree. Um, hang on just a second. And I got more. I got these. They're uh, plates for candles. You know, for the really large candles. At two of those. And I got this. I thought this was the cutest thing. I'm going to use this for some of my herbs. Um, not really sure. What else? Okay. Well, I got this box. I got this at Michael's. Whoa, sorry. Sorry. It's really a cute little box. My original plan was I was going to take the top off. Fill in the holes on the back, put some uh, gravel in it, and make it into a little planter. Well, the more I thought about it, I bought five of these cute little adorable terracotta pots for the plants, for the fake succulents. Then when I got this home, I noticed that it doesn't. Cl it has a magnetic. Sorry, a magnetic close there. Well, it doesn't close. So, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with that. And, oh yeah. Oh, you're going to love this. <coughs> oh, here. 
Isn't that beautiful? It's an adult coloring book. Well, I can't really say adult, but it has the most beautiful owl pictures. They are beautiful. And on the inside of the cover, it has one that's already done, and you can, you know, take the cover off. Look at this. Well, I don't have enough hands, people. Isn't that pretty? I got this off of uh, <coughs> eBay for under $5. <coughs> Excuse me. And I got at Michael's yesterday. I got this pretty purple cardstock and this. Isn't that beautiful? Butterflies. I got two of those and one of that. And let me see what else. Mm. I think that was it. Okay, and the other thing I wanted to talk about was the YouTube Pagan Challenge, yeah, YouTube Pagan Challenge question of the week. Uh, what do you do? Uh, now I don't remember what the question was. I'm sorry, people. Uh... Let me see. Bear with me. Well, oh, here we go. What spiritual practice do you do most? Well, I have to say, my, my favorite thing is meditation. Uh, I just get in that zone, I guess you could call it, uh, and I haven't really mastered anything other than to just, you know, relax and find inner peace. And sometimes with being married, I need that inner peace to keep from strangling my husband. Or my son. Or my daughter. Now, I'm not going to strangle the grandbaby because she's the light of my life. <laughs> but any of you that uh, are in a really long-term relationship, whether it be married or just, you know, together, uh, you know, that another person in your personal space can get on your nerves. And that's putting it mildly. Uh, a few years back, my husband and I were having problems and I had to meditate to keep from losing my mind. So, yeah. Uh-huh. Meditation has saved me a lot of trouble. <clears throat> when my daughter was living here before my granddaughter was born, we used to say, well, are we going to kill him today and just bury him in the backyard? <laughs> of course, I would never do that, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I do have something more to show you. Uh, my last video, I believe it was, 
I talked about, excuse me, uh, a Etsy shop called A Feather, what was it again? A Feather and Butterfly. I got some more beautiful crystals from her. How's that for a gorgeous amethyst? Can you see that? Okay. And this one. And I got. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where? Here. Okay. Now, the. Uh, citrine that I got last time was the small size. This is the extra large size. Can you believe this thing's at least two and a half inches? And it's gorgeous. The colors are just beautiful. And my little free gift was a piece of fluorite. Fluorite? Fluorite? Uh, F-L-U-O-R-I-T-E. It's really pretty. It's got, like, banding. Sorry. It's really pretty. Uh, I'm going to have to do uh, another video on my uh, uh, crystals. Because I've gotten so many new ones that I don't remember what I've shown you. <laughs> think if I've got anything more. I think that's about it. Okay, guys. I hope you have a beautiful day. And as always, blessed be.